episode of Huey's Tackle. Uh, today I'm going to paint this uh, evergreen flat side knockoff bait or knockoff body I got from uh, Lure Build. I've already both base coated in some white and some white pearl. Next I've got some of this, what is this stuff? Some Auto Air Silver Sealer. And we're just going to go uh, along the sides and the back. We're going to leave the belly white. And this gray is fairly light, so you won't be able to really see it that much. But this is going to help us with the next color is going to lay down. And this is a real simple shad pattern here as long as you got the color shift colors. I mean sometimes you don't have to go all out with your colors. Uh, you can still make simple patterns that still produce fish. Alright, now we're going to heat set this real fast. Alright, next I've got some of this uh, aluminum medium. And we're just going to spray this right over where we put that sealer down. To me, this stuff here is a lot better than the pearl silver. But if you have pearl silver, it'll do just the same. Now we're going to heat set that again. All right, next I've got some of this Kalmar. I think it's transparent smoke. Let's see if I can find the name. Yep, there it is. Uh, transparent smoke. What we're going to do with this is just add it to the back where we're going to add the uh, color shift paint. Because the color shift paint will come out a lot better if it has a darker background. And all you really want to do is go over it lightly. And if you don't have this, you can use regular black. Uh, just kind of mist the top of it. You need like your real thin coat. I mean, it don't take much. You just want to darken that silver up some. And then we'll heat set that. All right, before we start adding these, next colors I want to go over this little wheel here uh, this is where I learned to blend colors wet on wet painting and mix colors uh, so if you don't have a color you need you can always refer to this wheel uh, you can twist it to let you know if you add black white blue so I mean it really comes in handy when uh, you do wet on wet painting because a lot of times I can spray colors and it may look yellow, green, or purple and I never used that color because I've learned how to use this little color wheel. Uh, if anybody's ever interested in seeing me do like a little overview of how to use this little wheel, let me know. Uh, I'll be more than willing to do that for you. It really comes in handy. Uh, next, let's see, we're going to use these color shifting paints here I got from Hobby Lobby. First, we're going to do this, uh, we'll do this green and blue violet. We're going to have to do it fairly lightly. He set this real fast. start seeing that green and blue come out he 
piece it again. This stuff you kind of just gotta build it up little by little. I don't know if you can start seeing that shine come into it. All right, now we'll heat set that and go to the next color. Next, we're gonna go over the top of this uh, brown gold. back let the overspray come down some actually we're gonna go ahead and drop it down the sides just a little bit so heat set real fast it again and go to the next color all right next i've got some of this uh black magenta loaded in uh, we're just gonna go over the back kind of layer in some color just uh, darken it up some I'll drop it down the side a little Put a little around the eye. Right down the shoulder there. All right, now we'll heat some. Next, I've got some of this uh, Wicked Detail Black. We're just gonna make a black stripe down the back.
About the same spot. I'm gonna heat set that real fast. All right, next I've got some is highlight purple by Wicked. <clears throat> I'm just gonna add right along the belly, kind of give it some purple shine if you look at it from under it. Right now we'll heat set. Alrighty man, it's done after you do that. I don't know if you can tell but in by the camera, but it's from here to here it kind of goes from purple, blue, green to gold. Uh, in your hand you can really tell the color change. Uh, but I mean this is a simple pattern. I mean it'll work in the majority of the lakes you go to. Okay, it's similar to a shad. Uh, this was a uh, request by one of the people that wanted him to see this pattern done, so I made this video up for him. Uh, if there's any other patterns anybody would like to see done, just feel free to let me know. Uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks everyone for watching and subscribing.